hallelujah that scripture is a whole lifting from the bible can we give god our worship this morning and say lord receive our worship receive 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 let the fragrance turn to fire before the lord Manta Cabrana Malanda Cabrana Mandekedi Shadabaya Ladabaya Gadabala Gada. This is how we win. Mante Kete Brana Mande Kalabaya Gada. Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your presence. Personally, I can feel the presence of God in the atmosphere. I can just feel His anointing. Can we just appreciate the name of the Lord for his presence? Thank him for the atmosphere of his presence. The presence of the Lord is here. Can we just take our time to reverence and honor him? And say, Father, we thank you. Shagalana Maya Lana Malanda Kadabrana Malanda Kabaragadi. Appreciate the name of the Lord for his presence. The presence of the Lord is the atmosphere for our transformation. Thank him for his presence. Lord, we give you the presence. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for what you are set to do in our midst this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. We can have our seed. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. God is in their house. His manifest presence is here with us. Praise God. I want to welcome you to this morning session. Hallelujah. Can we come? Is it possible to come to the center role, all of us? Praise God. Amen. Our only advantage is the word of God, the preaching of the word of God that is able to bring transformation. Hallelujah. Those of us that are here this morning, I want to thank you for the sacrifice. I believe many people have reasons beyond their control why they are not here. But for those of us that are here, I want to assure you that you are not living this morning the same way you came. Hallelujah. The Lord has a word for you. My topic this morning is result. Hallelujah. <laughs> Results. John chapter 1 verse 46 will be your testimony after this morning session. John chapter 1 verse 46. I want every one of us to read it. Hallelujah. John chapter 1 verse 46. And Jotham said unto them. Okay, it's not Jotham now. If somebody said unto them, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Come out of my life? Come out of Shekinah Encounter Center? Come out of your career? Can there any good thing come out of it? What would be our answer? And Philip said unto him, what? Come and see. Because something good is coming out of you. And Nathaniel said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? And Philip said unto him, Come and see. You will have a result that will be worth inviting somebody to come and see. Because when you are inviting somebody at this point, it's no longer prophecy. It's no longer faith. It has become a manifestation. So the Lord is giving us results that people can see. Hallelujah. Results are tangible or noticeable outcomes. Results are outcomes that are tangible results are outcome that are noticeable people can see it they can feel it 
and then they are not disabled. People cannot deny ignorance of it. Results are tangible and noticeable outcomes. So this morning, I'm going to give us reasons why you must have results in your life. And then give us keys to have results. And then we are beginning to have results. The first reason why we must have results is results are testament to words. Results are testament to prophecies. Results are proof of words. Results are proofs or testament of prophecies. Hallelujah. The word was declared. The prophecy was given. The proof of it is result. Result is what validate the word and the preaching we have been receiving. After month and month of preaching, after weeks and weeks of preaching, after years and years of hearing the word, results are proof that the word is working. After prophesying and said, the Lord told me this. The Lord gave this word to me. I saw in the vision of the night, X, Y, Z. Results are testament to those things. In Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 25, and Numbers 13, verse 26 to 27. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 25. And then Numbers chapter 13, verse 26 to 27. Hallelujah. I'm reading to it, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 25. And they took of the fruit of the land in their hands. And brought it down unto us. And brought us word again. So they brought a physical testament. And then they came with words. And said it is a good land. Which the Lord our God doth give us. It's the same thing in Numbers 13, 26 to 27. When you tell people things with words. They need some levels of results to believe. So like when they send them to go and spy the land and say, is it a good land? Because the Lord told them that the land will be a good land, flowing with milk and honey. The Bible says when they got there, they plucked fruit. They plucked, they said they could carry them shoulder to shoulder. They had to bring something physical. To testify that the prophecies they received was true. That was the Bible said they brought fruit and words. So sometimes people will not only believe your words. People will not only believe your prophecies. But people need results to be able to validate that the word you are saying are true. And the prophecies you are saying are true. People will be tired of saying amen and receive. If after receiving for 10 years, there are no results. People will be tired of the words you are saying. In after 10 years, there are no results to prove. So you need results in your life to prove to people that what you said, God said, is true. You need proof in your life that God said this. If God says start a business, you need proof to be able to prove to people. If God says stay in Kogi State, there should be proof to be able to validate the prophecies. And the Lord is giving you results to validate the prophecies he has given us in the beginning of this convention. The Lord is giving us results. To validate the word and the preaching we have been receiving. Come on, in the name of Jesus. I got a message this morning by somebody. In fact, last week I got a message from you. Remember when we preached the month of little beginning? Do we remember? One of the days the topic was the glory 
of little beginning. Do we remember? The glory. Last week, I got a message from a pastor in Abuja. He was telling me the message was a great blessing. Then this morning, I got the message from a member that was here before he was a copper. He was around when the message was preached. But the message he said to me this morning was, thank you so much for the message. You spoke to me directly. So I was wondering, who was I talking to before directly when you were here? But now he has passed out. And then he's starting something from the beginning. He's now understanding that was what Apostle was saying. Now the world is bearing proofs. Bearing results. So it is not enough to say God said this. God said I should move to Lagos. God said this. It is true. But you need results to validate those statements. Because when it is God that said it, there will be tokens and evidences that God said it. Come on, now together. When God said it, there will be results to prove it. Sometimes the result may not be mega, but there will be little, little tokens. Evidences to prove that God sent you. Hallelujah. Number two reason why God or why we need results. See, all the prophecies we are receiving, like at the beginning, we need results. Number two, results command the attention of a generation and unbelievers. Reasons why you must have result number two is when you have results, you command the attention of a generation and the attention of unbelievers in matthew chapter 3 verse 4 to 5 matthew chapter 3 verse 4 to 5 and then matthew chapter 4 verse 25 the bible says and the same john had his raiment of camels here and a leathern girdle about his loins and his meat was locust and wild honey. Now verse 5. Then went out to him. What? Then went out to him. What guys? Jerusalem. And all Judea. And all the region ran about. Hey. So they did not say, you know, in the book of Acts of the Apostles, the Bible said 3,000 were added. 5,000 were added. But when it was John the Baptist time, that was even before the book of Acts, the Bible said they went out to him, the city, the city of Jerusalem, not the people, like everybody, then all Judea and all the region went to him. Matthew chapter 4, just Matthew chapter 4, the next chapter, verse 25, now has to do with Jesus Christ. Don't forget the point is result, command the attention of a generation and even unbelievers. After Jesus began his manifestation, verse 25, the Bible says, And there followed him, what? Great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis. And from Jerusalem and from Judea and beyond Jordan. So, when you have results, your attention has to stand still to listen to you, to hear what you have to say. You command the attention of your. See, I was. In a minister's conference recently and then there were people that were older than god's servant pastor dr paul Eneche, and then god's servant dr pastor david if you me but then they are also always the ones preaching in minister's conference in kenna land and they are always the one preaching in shiloh i always wonder then bishop one day said something he said it is people that have results that are qualified to teach Because these two giants have result to prove it. Come on now together. So result command your attention 
of your generation. And unbelievers have to listen. There are many unbelievers that pay their tithe to God's servant that is here, or God's servant Bishop David Oedepo. Even recently, I see this year, there are many unbelievers that have to respect the church and have to respect certain clergies because of the results they have. Even if you are an unbeliever, you cannot disrespect that the ear, the boy. Like, even if you are not a Christian, there was a time some people, some people insulted him. Some senators were saying, no, don't talk about this man. No, don't even dare it. it when he came to Kaduna, said, my governor, the governor of my state, even though he was an unbeliever, had to be at the airport to receive him. Yes. When he's in Kano, the governor, there, there are certain people that you cannot just deny their presence. Even if you don't believe in what he's saying, you have to respect his presence. Why? Well, because there are results to prove it. The number one influential man in, Af in the world, in Africa, not Nigeria, Africa, number one. The number of influence he commands, if today he said, okay, my children, all of us, let's go to this road of your state. Let's say that your neighbor is standing in the Holy Ghost Congress. So, what if I, not even... On morning today, no service today, he goes on reading TV. He said, All my children, let's go to the roundabout of your state. The president insulted me. All of us, let's go out to the president. Do you think this nation will be at peace again? Hey, because when redeem move, dunamis will move. When redeem move, living faith will move. When living faith moves, salvation ministry, I'm calling the big one first. Because us, we are there. As he's announcing, I say, where's my shoe? Because he is big. The, the generation listen to That is why he cannot even talk. Because if he say women should everybody begin to. Any sentence he makes, people take it. But me, I can say anything here. Nobody cares about what I'm saying. <laughs> Let him by mistake say, vote this person. There will not be peace in this. In newspaper tomorrow morning will be hot. The attention of the generation is on people that have results. Unbelievers will not respect your gospel if you don't have results. Come on now together. That is why even if they are unbelievers, there are certain people in the kingdom they respect. Because they have results to prove it. All that your unbelieving brother one result in your life will convince him to be serious with Christ. One. One. I had a testimony of God's servant, the Koza General Overseer Pastor. Fato Ebu, beyond him, hallelujah. So when he left Elorin to Abuja to start his ministry, he left Brook. And then one of the days after a little break, too, he went back with a Lexus car or a Jeep. And then his friend was touching him. Are you the one? Like touching his body, are you the one? Then he entered, okay, please tell me what is really what really happened. Please tell me the secret. So it's God. Oh, what do you mean by tell me why he really do? Say so it's God. He said, if it's God, I want to be I want to give my life to Christ. He said, the man gave his life to Christ. There are results that will one thousand preaching will not do. Result that people will. So if you want if you say unbeliever not hearing us because I'm not just imagine if you go out on evangelism on Tuesday and then I have an E-class message. And then you are driving which, which, which car? You are driving Benz. You like Benz too. Which car do you like to drive? Uh, BMW. Which color? White. That was, we want that is white. Intimate. Which color do you run? Ford Ranger. Hey, Pastor, me, which color of which, which color of car do you want? Okay, that car that one. Just imagine all of us. I am in front. You are behind, and all of us like that. We just we just park at Ganaja Junction, and then we come out with our flyers. Please, are you serious? Are you, you want to, they will listen. You must really have something to say. Because <laughs> you cannot come with no, a, a jalopinka up and down. And then, please give your life to And then you look at your shoe. Let the gospel work in your life first. Our problems are the same. Come on, is that not true? All of us are broke. All of us. Are, is it, so, what, what is the difference? Let me go more control my native doctor. Because all of us is not working. But with results, you command their attention. 
and the Lord is giving you results. Hey! There are many people that don't believe you are called to ministry. But there is one result that can command their attention. God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman, said one day his father told him that you are a disgrace to me. And my only concern is that you don't affect your younger ones. That when he started ministry, Riketi Zaria, hopeless environment. But I said one day after the dad came and went on his knees, please pray for me. Because now he, he doesn't go to Zaria by road again. He's surrounded by major generals. Not just gen like the, the people around Apostle Selma are generals in the army, not police. So in case you come against him spiritually, he's able. You come physically, you are dead. Dead by God. Hallelujah. I was listening to his message. He was preaching in charge. So just would drop their gun and listen. What do you, you must really have something to say. The attention of the generation will be at you. And the Lord is, you see, I am not exciting us. I am telling you what God will do in your life and my life. The Lord is giving us results that will command the attention of our generation and unbelievers to the gospel. Number three, results clear doubt and answer questions. When you have results, doubt are cleared. And questions are answered. In John 16 verse 30. And John chapter 3 verse 2. Many people have many questions about you and about me. Is he called? Is he really called? <laughs> now I wish sure that thou knowest the things. <laughs> Which one is off? Okay, John 16 13. Now we are sure that thou knowest all things before they were doubting, before they were questioning. But after some level of manifestations, now we are sure that you know all things. And need this not that any man should ask any question again. By this we believe that thou camest from God. So before they were doubting, is he a man of God? Is he God? Is he really sent? Is he really proven? So they were asking questions. So how was your encounter? How did God call you to ministry? What did he say? Did you see Jeroboam standing at your door? They want to know the way your encounter was. Come on now together. Hey! How did God tell you to start that business? How did? Which ear did he speak to you? How did he speak? Come on, all together. They had Bishop David O. Depot had 18 hours vision. 18 hours. Hey! So people are asking you, you they say, yeah, so tell us your own. How was it? <laughs> when you are going to have Apostle Babalola, when you have many people, and the people are doubting your life, asking all manner of questions. Did God really say this? But one result will clear that doubt. I'm telling you, one, one act of demonstration by God will answer all the questions they have. Bishop Doug said he didn't see an angel. He didn't have a vision. See, he never had a vision. As a matter of fact, he was praying for visions in his life. And then people come and sleep in his house and Jesus will appear to them. But he has never seen one. But he said, after a powerful meeting, people were falling down, falling down. He, he did not fall down. And then God told him, you are going to start a church. He said, ah! So after the service, people were charged everywhere on the ground. He said, he went out and was asked, Look, what is wrong? What is it mean that he did not fall down? I'm the one you said we should start a church. And he has over 2,000 churches. 2,000. Like, last year, the one day, he said, they are building 1,000. No, this year. Easter was when? This year, yes. This year, 
He said they are building 1,000 more. Not starting structures. Multiply blessed. But he didn't have an encounter. So people are doubting, asking all manner of questions. In John chapter 3, verse 2. So God is giving you result so that people will be sure. People will not need to ask any questions. People will believe that what you are saying came from God. Come on, are you hearing me or you're not hearing me? People will believe that what you are saying are not concussions. That they truly come from God. That God truly says you should stop that business. There's somebody now when he said them, God said that you should start selling clothes. Are you sure it's from God? My son, are you sure? John 3 verse 2. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher. Come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest. Except God be with him. Hallelujah. So resolve clear doubt and answer questions. And that is what God is giving you. I know many of us that are doubt from our parents. Hallelujah. I've been doubted before. And there are people that I believe that still doubt me. There are people that doubt. I had a lot of my people from my school when we started the church. Saying that it's just campus zeal. It will wear off after a while. Was it really called? It's not campus gra gra. All manner. Two of them came out and met me. In fact, one asked my account number and sent offering. So he said, I, I asked the person, what is, what is this seed for? The person said, it's seed of consistency. I said, what do you mean by seed of consistency? That she has noticed I've been consistent. <laughs> hey, somebody will send you a seed of consistency soon. Yeah. Cause, cause they are thinking out of some some wahala, you will give up. But they don't know that God, I, my back is stronger than the back of a tortoise. Not giving up, not giving in. It's either it works or works or work. So the other one said that, ah, they are sorry what they said in campus. They didn't know. They didn't know. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I had a meeting uh, some, some, some last month, December, and then I had, I had one of my childhood friends that was in that meeting. And then when we came with my wife, like, I think Yinka was there every time. Our protocol were there protecting and guarding me. Oh, why is it me? Like he could not come, he could not assess me. I would say, please, <laughs> say please, this is my friend, please let him come. They gave him time. They summarize, hey, summarize what you have to say. After the meeting, he said, "Me, sir, well done, sir. Please pray for me." But all the while, he had never believed I was alive. And then after being himself in the meeting, hey, he came and said, "Please, I have." The problem he told me he had are no problem he would tell anybody. Because there is a way result can clear the doubt whether this title apostle or they are called or this pastor they ordain you is your title. Result can answer those questions and clear those doubts. Maybe because you just like to wear a tie and suit. Maybe because you don't like people to carry your Bible. Number four reasons why you must have results. Results bring effortless salvation and administration of the gospel. In Acts chapter 8 from verse 9 to 24, the Bible gave a story of the sorcerer that bewitched the city of Samaria before Philip came. And when Philip came and demonstrated a higher level of power, the city was saved. Acts 2 20, Acts 2 41. Also, after the day of Pentecost, 3,000 were added and effortless salvations by results. Number five, 
reasons or the fifth reason why you must have result is result make a difference between believers and unbelievers in exodus chapter or malachi chapter 3 verse 18 and exodus chapter 8 verse 19 but let's look at malachi chapter 3 verse 18 result make a difference then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked between him that served God and him that served him not you see believers I have seen people that are serious with God insulted you see it's almost like nobody will ever insult the child if the child see there are people that when you start going to church every time see you carry church on your head they insult the child your friends insult you some people start calling you sister mary or john the baptist anytime you go to church on sunday and you go to church on wednesday and then you attend mistakenly when you need meeting they will say you have carried church on your head but people that go for political rally and meet people that say you should eat cassava i don't understand what I mean now nobody complained that they are taking politics on their head people that go to <laughs> people that go and watch football mad man you manchester city they are there in the night 9 p.m no father will tell the guy no you know you are taking this no nobody People that go to market and shop every time, nobody will complain. But when you start to say, is there money? You no, know, Stephen. To that conference we had, that he was in the conference, and then his boss telling him that, no. Where you say, I went for conference. Say, no. It's on serious people that go for that kind of thing. It's people that don't have what to do, that go for conferences. So we need results. To separate those that serve God and those that don't. And you will return and see a difference between people that serve God and those that did not. Sometimes it may take three years. Sometimes five years and then you will see that it was really beneficial that I served God. Okay, How many of us were dedicated in campus, in fellowships? Did you have friends that mocked at you? Now, can you compare your life and their life? Somehow, somehow, they will have made some wrong choices that they are regretting already. Somehow, somehow. Maybe they have started dating. Maybe they have picked up a bad character. Maybe they don't even know what they should do with their life. Some of them are yet, some of them will even make a mistake of marrying the wrong person. Why? Because there is no spirituality to discern. There is no guidance to the sun. And then, five years later, the consequence of not serving God, they will feel it in their marriage. But you that was serious and dedicated, five years later, you will see the benefit. You will return. That means after a while. Come on, now we together. I want to assure you that you being here this morning, very soon people will return. Hey! And they will see a difference that you are not a fool. There will be a benefit of you serving God and the people that did not serve God. Look at that the year the boy has 80 years flying to Bayelsa, flying to Benue, flying to Jigawa, flying to all over for his light up crusade to mark up his what? 88th birthday, 80. Eight zero. Same with God's servant pastor W.F. Kumui. He was all over crusade to mark his 80th birthday. Then there's another man shaking like a leaf. Shaking. It cannot hold something tangibly. Not 70. And we are sure he, if he lives to 80, Kai, I will, that's one of the questions I will ask God, who will go to heaven. 
There is always a difference. See, you see, there was a king in Israel. The Bible says he departed without being desired. Like when he left, the they said they buried him outside the sepulchre of the kings. He left like a man not being. He left like a plague, like a disaster. There are people that we look at them and they are a physical embodiment of plagues. They are disaster personified. They are danger in human body. They are danger, death in human body. But when you look at God's servant at the ear, dear boy, he's an embodiment of hope. A demonstration of a future. Come on, are we together? Yes. There is a difference between you serving God and people that are not serving you. I'm telling you, God will give you results. Health and vitality. Comfort and beauty. A home and a family. I believe one of the greatest rewards that God will ever give you is a good wife or a good husband. I'm telling you, a good marriage is one of the consolation of serving God. One of the greatest consolation that God will give you is peace in your home. There is nothing as deadly as being in a wrong marriage. It's worse than some diseases. Worse. It was, uh, it was someone that introduced me about a celebrity, John Depp, that was in his marital problem. I, w I read one of his posts. said that one of the worst things that can happen to you is to marry wrong. It will be a life prison sentence. My wife was telling me of a man that beat his wife recently. Mouth turn, stroke almost came. Stroke. Mouth disfigured. Ah! That one, the case that someone told me was the woman beating the wife, the husband. Beat the, is the wife now beating the man and smiling in public because it's LGBTQ. That is, women's rights should be defended. There are women, I have read from, I, I have got Apostle Suleiman, that is a woman poured oil on her husband as a pastor on Sunday morning. She was telling me about a particular pastor that the wife had to be sent home because she was fighting with church members. I slept in the room with a pastor. He was telling me about how his church closed because of his wife. See, after service, the members came to greet him on the platform. He said, leave that place. Yes. Leave, don't come to, why, leave that place. A female come for counseling is a problem. Hey! No. Not you. Not you. God will reward you with rest. Come on, in the name of Jesus. Your service to God will give you rest. Number six reason why you need results is to encourage and boost our morale. To serve and do more. When you have a result, your morale is boosted. You will want to do more. In Luke chapter 10 verse 17, but we said the 70 return with joy. That is why when he sent them again, they are willing to go. <laughs> hey, hope defied make it. I don't know if you see. See, all of us like uh, when you do, let's say you pray for somebody and the person was healed, you know you'd be motivated to pray again. But when <laughs> but when you pray, nobody was here, they said, No, he said, No, you see, God has called me to preach. You will not be motivated to preach again. If you sow seed and your God and harvest, will you sow again? You will milk the living out of that seed, out of light, out of that thing. You discover somebody that when you sow, it, ah, you sow. Hey! <laughs> Charlie, you are sowing all the way. I watched a video of a China man, the, the building lifted, and then he put one thing and he gave out three. Hey! He put one and he gave out five. I've, 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 I've never seen a video. Put it and then he removed his belt, removed everything, just put it. And then the door locked. <laughs> That man is from where? Yeah, probably from Mogori. Hallelujah. Praise <laughs> God. I don't put everything inside. And then they still locked. Result encourage us to do more. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If after praying and fasting, something comes up, you will pray again. 
Why do some people don't like prayer meetings? Because after praying, nothing has changed. After fasting, nothing has changed. So next time you have a problem, let's pray Please let's leave this prayer aside. Or what is they say? Let's leave Bible aside. What they are saying is let's look for what brings result. Come on, all together. Result boosts your morale. It's an immune system booster. That is why you need results. We are encouraged to go for evangelism because we have souls. There is a place where we are not encouraged to go again. <laughs> there was a place we went. We are not encouraged to go back. <clears throat> because there was no result. At least even you know, see, is, evangelism is in levels. At least you have somebody you preach to and nobody had you. Secondly, it's at least once somebody rededicated his life. Somebody maybe somebody wanted to give his life to but this one is nobody to preach to. <laughs> like like you are seeing people where you cannot preach. <laughs> you are with the gospel, but you are handicapped. Hey. Result boost our morale. You will want to serve God when you hear of testimony. That is why people share testimonies in church. That for 19 years I've been trusting God for a child. And I was in the choir all through. There's a choir member that I've been trusting God for four years. That result will boost her morale. Come on, all together. Sharing people's testimony. I've been trusting God for this after 10 years it's happened. There's somebody trusting. See? see, the Bible says what I say to one, I say to all. Your problem is not only you. You know, one time I was meditating, I was asking God, Lord, okay, is it, is it a way, is there a way that I can preach for three months and not mention fornication? And then God told me that, you know, because majority of us are young people. Because so that, so that one person will not think, you see me, I'm talking to every time. Then God told me that, you see, the person may have conquered it, but there may be somebody else that has not conquered it. There is somebody else that is just entering the problem. If you are leaving, somebody is about coming or somebody is right at the center. So because you have overcome it, doesn't mean we shouldn't talk because of the rest that are just coming in or are still struggling. So when we are re-emphasizing, it's not you. We are talking to the new set of people that the devil has faced. Come on, are we together? Come on, are we together? Yes. So, result have a way of boosting our moral, morals. Encourage us to serve more. We will give and give more when we, give, when we see results. I remember when I started giving to my spiritual father. And I discovered people started giving to me. Why, won't I, why will I ever stop? Seventh reason why we need results. Result proof that God is still living and never changing. In Hebrews 13 verse 8, he said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. Or Psalms 15 verse 4. Or Psalms 105 verse 3 to 8. That is a difference between seven years ago, I was in Lagos, and then the blind opened. And then three weeks ago, a blind opened. And then one week ago, and then yesterday, and then in this service, a blind man is opening. Hope you know there's a difference. Seven years ago is far. Three weeks ago may be far. Okay, what God did in Lagos, why can't he do it here? So to prove that God is still alive, we need result. To prove that God is still living. That if he did it before, he can do it again. He's the same God of the valley and the same God of the mountain. So the proof that God is still alive is resolved. And God is still doing miracles. God is still doing wonders. God is still healing. The days of Catherine Kuman are not over. There are people walking in greater dimension. The days of Simil Wiggles work are not over. There are people who say, you know, when God's servant, uh, Archbishop Benson, that was a died, it looked as if that was the end of Christianity. But when he died, all that giant rose. Come on, now together. 
all that giant rose. So that is a sign that God is still alive. That is why it must, we must know that no matter who is alive, more people that are rising behind will do greater than them. Far greater. Because God is still living and the church is still progressing. Eighth reason why you need resolve is results proof the anointed and the call upon his life. When you have result as a man of God, as a pastor, as a believer, it proves you are anointed. And the call of God upon your life is real. In Isaiah 44 verse 26, the Bible says, He confirmed the word of his servant and what? Performed the counsel. So how can it be proven that you are a servant of God? Is by what? Confirmation. Is it not true? In 2 Kings chapter 1 verse 10 to 11 or 10 to 12, the king Ahab sent a captain and 50 men to come and arrest Elijah. Then Elijah said, if I be a man of God, let fire fall. If I be call of God, let fire fall. So he needed the result to prove he was a man of God. Come on now, we together. He needed it. Some people came and challenged God's servant, Archbishop uh, Benson Idausa. That time when they said the meeting of the witches would not hold. He said in the, on live TV, he said that, he asked the man, say that you are a witch and I will kill you. Then he asked, are you a witch? The man said, no. <laughs> on live TV, that is, after the, you know all of us are aware of the interview that happened between him and the witch. Have you listened to, God, um, Bishop, Bishop Shari, Shari story. have you listened to the message? He said, see, after the interview, he said, before, how many minutes do we have to say five minutes, please? I want five minutes before the end. That was the condition he gave before he even came for the interview. So he said, now how many minutes do you have five minutes? He said, now I want to ask you a question. And answer me yes or no. Are you a witch? The man said no. <laughs> I. When the Bible said, touch no man anointed. When they touch you, they should know they have touched the wrong thing. Because no matter how anointed a fly is, he knows the smell of a hot plate. I don't know if you're me now. Like the fly will never meander near a, a... No. Even when the food is boiling, the fly doesn't perch on it. A fly only perch on cold food. Yes. We need the result to prove that we are called. The witch should be able to advise themselves. They don't near that man of God. Don't near him. The demon should be able to advise themselves and say, don't near that one. Do you think witches have advised themselves? You see, don't near Bishop David. Don't, that one, don't near him. Say, when they move to Canaan land, a, a bird will be flying and Canaan land and then fall down to a human being. Say, they were killing birds. Or like, I believe witches will be advising themselves. See, where are you going to? <laughs> I'm going to be able to say, okay, next time. <laughs> hey! Ay, 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 ay. When you're flying, when you go to other, move left. <laughs> Don't continue on that route, no. <laughs> because the last time I was there, I never told my full feather. <laughs> The last time I did my faith, that was not complete. So next time, please follow this site. They will invite themselves. Why were armed robbers returning the things that people stole from Winner's Chapel? Yeah, that armed robber will enter the house. You, are you a, a Winner's member? Please take. Did I steal anything? No. Yeah. The armed robber will bring it because maybe their friends that have stolen it, they know what happened to them. 
So now, are you ready? So, the doctor says, somebody stole his members' cars and then there were posters they were going to go and paste. Hey, come on, come on, come on. They, on the ground, and then they took the car and they ran away. They, as they were driving, they just checked their back. I saw the posters of Archbishop. They now reverse back straight fast. <laughs> Say, please, we are sorry. <laughs> please. We, are, we didn't know you are the one. We didn't know you are from. I'm telling you. We didn't know you are from Archbishop. Please take your car back. We are sorry. Another member was kidnapped. And then when they saw the picture of God, I Dr. Paul and Neche. So are you from Dunamis? Transport money. Took out the junction and say move. Yes. Another young children were kidnapped. Going to school, secondary school. And then you, which should you attend? She mentioned a church. You, which should you attend? She mentioned, you, which should you attend? Dunamis. What do you say? Dunamis. All of you come down. The, the kidnappers open the door. Come, all of you. Because of the dynamic, all of you. Out. Why we are they respecting those people? There were some that attempted it and never recovered. So one time he was healed in a service in the morning and then a police van passed with dead people. Then the Holy Spirit said, come and see the people you killed. Yeah. Because he goes around to the place. Come and see the people. Because, because what happened was his members were coming for night vigil on Friday. And then they were accosted on the road and they collected their phones and their arm robbers and they told him. said, if I be a man of God, they will not be alive by this time tomorrow. Yeah. Said, if I be a man of God by this time, they started fighting and shot themselves. The, the, the Holy Spirit said, come and see the people you killed. Yeah. We need some dangerous things to prove that we are called. Come on, all together. There are some results that will show that no. See, I don't think there is a witch in his normal sense that will attempt that they are dead boy. Like, let's say, you dream that you want to die. And you want to make it physical. Then you go there. Let's say you have, you, you have died already and you want to manifest it. Because even the devil will not go there. He will not. Because Benin said, God told him, what some people to do some men of God, even the devil will not dare it. There are, we need some results around our life. Some deckings. Hey, are you here? You understand deckings? Concrete deckings of God. To prove that we are called and we are going to have some results very soon come on we are going to have some results very soon the people in the village that say you will not marry they send the arrow back to fire see i have never known how to pray this mercy fire prayer lord show mercy please let them repent no i was never taught <laughs> And it's too late to teach me now. It's a lie. Somebody was shot by armed robbers and then came to Pastor David and he said, please pray for them to repent. He said, no, I will not pray. He said, me, I will never pray that kind of prayer. Why should I pray? No. Intentional wickedness. That is why I love Dr. D.K. Olukoya. That is why I love Dr. D.K. Because a wish will waste 30 people and repent later. The destinies, the man that is a breadwinner will be wasted. The young family will be, the young children that have a future, and the man that refused to die, and you are praying for his salvation. No. He has made his mind to go to hell. Let's send him on time. He has made up his mind he's going to hell. Before you kill many people, let's forward you on time. Come and I will together. Yes. And the Lord is giving us those kind of results. All the people angry at you. Not just physical. Not that it's a level of physical result. That is spiritual result. Where when they call your name in the mirror. The native don't worry. Who, like you know that you know, they say they call people's name. The slap they will get. <laughs> or the fire. Who brought this picture? Who, who, who brought this picture? <laughs> the native doctor will advise himself. Number nine, reward. We need results. And then I just feel in my spirit to prophesy to somebody here that your call will be validated with result. Come on, in the name of Jesus. All the people holding you down, you will be too hot to handle. 
You are telling them you are a man of God. They are insulting you. God is giving you a result. You are telling them you have a call to serve God. They are insulting you. God is giving you a result. Your anointing will be validated. Your call will be validated. In the name of Jesus. You can take your seat. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Number nine. We need results to serve as rewards for service and faith in followership in hebrews 11 verse 6 god is a rewarder of they that seek him exodus 23 26. now after some years of following me there should be some results in the life of the follower come on is that not true no you will not just follow a pastor blindly I met a pastor once that said he, really, he prefer to have pastors that are not educated because those ones follow sheepishly. Then I told him, I will never want a pastor that is not educated. Never. Because the, if you are educated and you are still following, it shows you know what you are doing. But that other guy is just following because he doesn't know what he's doing. Come on, all together. See, there is some level of deception. I cannot deceive all these our, our men of God because all of them have certificates. Any, they, they, they are too enlightened to be fooled. If it's not working, it's not working, and they know it's not working. Come on, now all together. As people are following, there should be results. So like as we are following God, there should be result in our life. That we are serving the living God. Number 10, result enable faith and belief in the gospel. In John chapter 4 verse 48, the Bible says you will not believe until you see signs and wonders. The same with Matthew 16, 17. Number 11, result command and respect the honor of kings and relevant authorities when you have resolved it command the respect and the honor of kings and relevant authorities genesis 41 verse 40 joseph commanded the attention of pharaoh daniel chapter 2 verse 46 Daniel commanded the attention of the four relevant kings or the biggest kings of their days. That is the same with all of us. Also, 1 Kings 13, verse 4. We can command the attention of kings. And they are respect by their result. That is why during elections, or when God's servant go to Assel Rock, I most time view the pictures. As he's coming from the outside, the president is out to receive him. There is no sit down protocol. Please, who is there? boy, please. I have some people on the line. Please let him sit down outside. Can never happen. Never. When is he coming? Is that he's, uh, he's ready? The president is ready. The kings have to honor you. I was a dedication of the glory dome. The president sent full representative. Senate president was there. Speaker of the house was there. Senators were there. All the relevant people in the country were there. How many governors, four governors were there around? Akwai Ibom, Akwai Ibom, Benway, and then I can't remember physically on ground coming out together even night vigil governors will fly in and sit down all through the night without giving them to come and talk and say anything good morning and one thing i love about god's about the point is that he will preach as if they are not around say what you want all of those stealing our money <laughs> hey i was one day watching five nights of glory pastor david Ibiomi. Then the governor was there, and then all the people, you know, once the governor of a state moved, all the irrelevant people moved with him. So all of them were there. 
and they started talking about people that steal government money. I said, ah, this woman, they are here now. They started talking about Ogoni people. That your children will not respect you. You wear red towel and being something, they now you are a fool. Yeah. Say, so you come out at the back and they ask, don't you have, can't you have sense? I was just and then they, they, they came in, I remember we were wicked. <laughs> and I just zoomed in, I just, uh, I just, uh, at least just look at the congregation, they'll, they'll just look at them, just, hallelujah. And then the man will see me there next year. They will tell you, that is authority. I can't understand why as we are, we cannot say certain things now. You are preaching righteousness, and a member is angry. Why should we be talking? Ah, why now? What do you think you are? It's not correct. What should be said must be said. Because some people are in the church, that is why you must prosper. So that you'll be able to pray what you should preach. Because if the major person sponsoring the church is marrying three wives, has three wives in the church, you know the topic of polygamy will never be preached in that, in that church. No, polygamy, in fact, family topic will not be there. Prayer, the word of God. Evangelism, soul winning. What they get one of the topics that we will not really close to family. What they get? Prosperity, healing. They will never near family matter. Because once they near, they will talk about it. That is real. Yes. That is why we must prosper as our pastors. That is why I keep saying it. We must prosper. We must own our wealth and properties. So that you can give you the audacity to preach the word of God that should be preached. So that because somebody is there, what you should say, you cannot say. Or you are intimidated. Come now together. Of course, if you are here, you know me, I, I don't fear. Like, I, it, the more you frown your face, the more I say it. Come on. The more I say it. Because the Bible says, by three children was the earth populated. Let the wrong people live and let the right people come. But what should be said must be said. You need to resort to command attention of kings. Hallelujah. Because the kings will not come if they are not valuable. And then when they come, they expect you to pamper them. Our man of God is here. Can we give him the mic? See, my, my, I, 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 was, I, I, uh, I had a, a, a really sad story about my, a, a particular church then the minister of finance then was of Nigeria was attending the church that is Mrs. Nina Dino Osman. And then they came to the church, and then her husband was an unbeliever. Are you understanding me? Then they gave him the mic, climbed the pulpit to address the people on Sunday morning. In the north, if you are a Yoruba, you are a Muslim, you will never lead prayer. Never. <laughs> you are a Muslim, but you are a Yoruba. Forget about leading prayer. Their mosques are different. Even if you are in their mosque, you stay at the back. Yes. Not to talk of giving a Christian a space to talk in the mosques. That the future tense, practical, impossible, impossible tense. Never, ever, ever. In that church, the pastor was preaching and died on the pulpit. Yes. Preaching and died on the pulpit. Fell down. That was it. The people, they, they will come to the church and donate 50,000 naira and go to unbelievers' lunch and donate 2 million. And they have the same set of people. They will call 50,000 naira, hey! And then, then next, in this, from there, they go to a Muslim gathering and donate 2 million naira. Yes. That is why we must have our own sufficient result. God's servant, you, but angel is a self made billionaire. He said, I must preach, and it's, you either align or you leave. Now, what do you think will be, Bishop, will ever be afraid of preaching? Or who will be in his presence and you'll be afraid of saying what he should say? The art project is 100 billion. That is 200 million US dollars. Now, somebody having that kind of money, 
how will he be afraid again of saying? That is why he can he can say what he wants to say and he should say. Come on now together. Yes, that is why you must have results. You must have proofs in your life. You must have proofs in your life. And I'm contending I will have results in my life. I've made up my mind to prosper. Really prosper as a pastor. Independent of church money. Personal wealth. Come on, all together. Yes. So that in case the elders will say, let's do this, and then the pastor say we should not do it. I say, okay. We'll not do it with church money, but I will do it with my money. Let's go and win. I say, we're not without we we, church money. Hey, hey, I'm going to do a policy. Hey. Okay, I'll have them. I will do it. With our personal money. But that cannot ever happen here in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We need result to combine to compel mandatory submission of evil altars and contrary result. In Exodus chapter 8, verse 19, after the evil altars, we are fighting with the altar of God. One act of Moses, the Bible says, This is the finger of God. This is the finger of God. Number 13. Results explain better than words. In Luke chapter 7, verse 20 to 22. They came to meet Jesus and said, Are you truly the Son of God? Then the Bible says, He stood up, went and began to heal. Then He said, Go and tell John the things you have heard and the things you are seeing. Come on, are we together? So, result will explain better than words. In Exodus chapter 4, from verse 1 to 9. But we say when Moses Moses was saying, if I go, they will not believe. Then God told Moses, if they don't believe what you are saying, put your rod on the ground, it will become a serpent. If they don't believe that one, put your hand inside your cloth and remove it, it will become leprous. If they don't believe that one, carry water from the river and pour it on the ground, it will become blood. They will believe one of the three. Come on now together. It was all a robot. That said, one, ta- one miracle can do what 1,000 preachers cannot do. One miracle can do what 1,000 words, I don't know whether it's 1,000 words or preaching, cannot do. Sometimes one result can explain everything. See, when you read the book of Genesis, when Isaac or Eliezer was sent to look for a wife, for Isaac. When you read the whole of the story, you will notice that Eliezer didn't mention Isaac. He said that these camels are his father's own. This one belongs to his father. This one belongs to his father. And all that the father has will give to that only son. And that is the one I've come to look for a wife for. <laughs> like everything the father has belongs to that one child. And I am here to look for a wife for that one child. A love band that was Ojuko Koro before. You know, like longer throat. You know, our sister, follow him, please. Straight, they followed. Come on, hallelujah. Result explained better than what? You see, I'm really called. The Lord can do this. The Lord can do this. The Lord spoke to me seven words on the seven mountains. On the 70th day of my fasting, the Lord said, We are going to be build a conglomerate. The Lord said, We are going to preach to the end of the world. One miracle will explain all those explanations. They, will know that they don't need it. Appear, <laughs> appear with a kind of money, with a kind of result. One miracle will explain all those explanations. A comedian said, He told his mother, the popular comedian, I go die. When his mother heard that he was using the name Akodai, he said, why are you using the name Akodai? He said, negative word. He said, negative word. She was fighting him. Then one day after blowing, he just returned home. Gave her some cash. She laughed and touched him and said, Akodai. She called the name. Yes, she called the name. 
The same happened to God and to this man, Baba, um, Baba Ali. He was a founder. Because when Baba Ali, he Baba Ali, what's his name? Ali Baba, when he was a fine pioneer of comedy in this country, and then when he started comedy, was not a popular work. He was the one that started Night of a Thousand Laugh. You know, Night of a Thousand Laugh. He was the founder of comedy in this nation. So when he told his father, because his father was educated and was wealthy, one day he said he's going to do comedy. He was the father was angry and rejected him. So that one day he went back home with a mess. This is it two thirty or one night at that time, brand new, and then the father did not talk to him. So he was around for like three days. So on the last day, when he was going, so he was waved wave everybody bye bye, gave the father money, they was going, he now left. The father called, ah, you left your car. He said, no, that one is for you. Hey! The Ali Baba. <laughs> hey, that, I, see, I, I listened to his interview, he shared in the story. That the father called him Ali Baba, my son. Like, now, reconcile. No, no one like it. Like, no one. Like, what do you want to do? Come and go all the way. I am solidly behind you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. All these explanations is because you don't have results. I'm telling you. You go to ask the damn cell out. You need to explain vision. You need to type it. You need to pray out fast before you go. You see, when God told me, he was sure. <laughs> but three men of God anointed me with oil. I started seeing signs. You will explain for three hours. Let me go and pray. She will say, let me go and pray about it. Because me too, I can hear God. Let me go and hear God for myself. I'm telling you, brothers, there is a result you will come with. Don't let's say, yeah, my wife, I had him too. <laughs> Before you, I knew you were coming. She instant confirmatory. It's as if at that moment she has direct line to heaven. Because, why, okay, what if I don't say it now? He has another lady out. She will on time. Or she, or she may inform, let me go and pray about it. And call it that evening, say, like, the way God answered me, I was shocked. <laughs> say, normally God don't answer me this fast, but the way he answered me this time, I was shocked. Like, when I began to pray, my peace just came. <laughs> you see, the example I'm giving is a true life story of somebody I know. <laughs> don't think I'm joking. <laughs> the lady told me in the office, said, this one, when I'm praying about it, I had like, it was unlike the rest I was praying. Like, the peace was so sudden. The rest, I don't think about that. So, you know, I, I, you know, I'm a smart man of God. Like, you, you can't have a pastor that telling me what this kind of stuff. So, I say, so where, where, is, where is the guy working? So, what, 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 when I asked about the physical condition, I now knew what he was, Master. <laughs> and my sister, I now know. Hey, I now know. Don't be telling us that thing. I now know why the confirmation was faster. <laughs> I, 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 I'm a small boy, but not that small. Like, I, like I'm, I'm young, but I was not born yesterday. I have some more sense. You want to use God to deceive us? We have used that word before. You know how I many times we said God said, and we know God did not say. <laughs> I, I, we are the ones who want to come and trick us with God said. The guy is blessed. He's already working with seven zeros. Already established. Hey, with the potential of flying abroad. Why would you hear God? Hey, no one would hear, no one would hear God. All of those are coming like prayer point or accident that have happened already. Or about to happen. That's why you don't hear God in their case. I'm telling you the reason why they're not hearing us. We don't have results. That is why you must have results. Come on, hallelujah. You must have results. A proof number 14. Or oh, are we tired of the reason? Or oh, have you seen? Do you have enough reason why you must have results now? I just give us a kiss. Do you have enough reasons? Or you want more? You are not convinced already. You need reasons. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm just looking at our time. Our time has gone. Let us give a look at the kiss. Praise God. But now I can be here telling you more reasons in case you are not convinced. Until you are convinced. Are you convinced already? <laughs> The first reason key to having result is depth in God and depth in knowledge. Second Kings 19 verse 30. When you go deeper in God <laughs> and deeper in knowledge, you will have results. The Bible says, all of those that escape from the house of Israel will bear root downward 
and bear fruit what? The deeper you go with God, the higher your level of results. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall yet again take root what? Downward. You see? You see? If you want to build a particular house, you can call house boys and just mark the place and say, dig this place. And then you can build a building like that. But if you want to build an upstairs, you may not call this house boys. You may go for something more serious. Come on, all together. Then if you want to build a six-story building, at that level, you need an excavator now. So the depth you go Reveal the height you will go in life. The depth in God determines the height of your results. The deeper you go, determine the higher. So you want to have real results. See, you cannot be having one million level of results. And then when they say, give me two scriptures for divine preservation. And then you say, me. I did not touch anybody. So nobody can touch me. <laughs> I don't look for anybody's trouble. So in my place, I don't look for anybody's trouble. So they cannot look for my trouble. Hey! When a witch is setting you in the dream, you, have a, you wake up and say, No. There should be some depth of knowledge. Come on, out together. What is your scripture on divine provision? What do you know about supernatural intervention? What do you know about being the head and not the tail? How far can you stay with God? So your depth in God determines your height of result. That is why that the Ade Boye is deep. That is where he is. See, many times in Holy Ghost Congress, people think he cannot stand. He's not standing because he doesn't like standing. He said many times he's weak from fastings. That is why he cannot stand. Come on, all together. Sometimes you see somebody talking slowly that the person you know used to be fast or something like that. Your depth determines your height. Come on, all together. The more you know, the more you receive. There is a level of knowledge you will have and you will never be contented with some things. You will see that thing as mediocrity. You will never. What people celebrate because of what they know. Like, 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 like celebrating, like celebrating, um, complaining that the churches are building big structures in this country. Do you know the governor of a particular state have three universities outside this country? Have an oil mine? Have a car shop outside the country? There are people, when this woman that stole one trillion, what was her name? That woman that has cancer. Yeah, do you, they do know about her, her jewelries. Anna. Do you know how much was her yard? If you know how much politicians and Nigeria have, you will be angry that all pastors are not riding Rolls Royce. You will be angry. If you know the money this country makes, I have a friend or not a friend, somebody that works in an oil company, was telling me how much they make, how much they make per sale. There are families that own oil wells, oil blocks. Like, Nera is nothing. Nothing. If you know how rich this country is, you will never celebrate what we have. When the RCCG build their three by five thousand era, uh, five thousand kilometer <laughs> structure, at that time, David does wealth because the whole money came out. His money can build that structure three times. Yes, David, only him. His network at that moment can build that structure three times, and then people are. Hey! The only one not to talk of the rest of them. If you know what is in this country, you will never be satisfied. Never. Never. 
If you know what God is doing with other people, you'll be angry with what God is doing with you. You will know there is more. Come on, now together. If you know what God can do, you will never be satisfied. There are people that turn private jet up and down, like buying and selling up and down, like, like, like it's nothing. So we need to go deep to be able to have more. The deeper you go, the more you have. Come on, now we're together. Number two, and I, I know you are going deep. By the word of God, by prayer and fasting. That is why we are going deep in prayer in vigils. Come on, now together. Deeper, we are praying until our change has come. Our change has come, we are enforcing it. We have to go deeper. Because if God wants to give you 10 million naira, he has to check whether your neck can carry it. Come on, is that not true? There are some accounts that have a maximum of 200,000 naira. If God wants to give you 2 million naira, you cannot receive. Because you have a limited account. There are some level of manifestation that require a level of a spirit or spiritual development or spiritual fasting or something like that. When God wants to put that kind of grace, your spirit cannot carry it. Come now together. Now, if God should give us 5,000 next Sunday, where can they sit? We don't have the seats. So you see that God will bless you based on the level of your development. Based on how far you have gone. But he will never waste it. That's why we must read, plan, go far. Come on now together. That's why for people that have businesses, I always encourage them to register. The registering is showing you are going for big. No, I was trying to get along with someone and then we discovered that if you have a CAC registration, what they will give you in loan is different from an, or somebody that just came and filled phone, phone number. It won't be the same. When you go to the bank and present your CAC certificate, that alone marks you as a different class. Come on, now together. When you come and present your international ID card or your driving license, I remember when I did have, when there was no car. When I go to the bank and then they need a form of identification. I was always presenting my driving license. So one time, the bank attendants wanted to follow to my house to check and confirm that those were my address. So I came, I came with driving license. He thought my car was outside. <laughs> they become my former and my previous identification was driving license. So I said, let me follow you so that I go and check. So she picked her back. In my mind, I'm just laughing. You follow me. <laughs> so when she followed, she saw me going out of the bank. How far? She saw me crossing the road. She said, please let me go and carry my transport. She now went back. You were thinking that my car was outside. You'll be shocked. <laughs> hey! I prophesy your driving license. And I prophesy your car. Because when the car came, we drove it from the car park to the shop because our license was on ground. That is the way yours is. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Go deeper to go higher. Number two, discern your fruitful field. In Ezekiel chapter 17 verse 5, where is the field that is fruitful for you? Ezekiel 17 verse 5. He took also of the seed of the land and planted it in a what? Fruitful field. He placed it by great waters and set it at a willow tree. You know, in Genesis 26 verse 3, God told Isaac, remain in this land. Genesis 12 verse 1 to 5, he told Abraham, leave the land. You have to be in a fruitful field that belongs to you. So that you can have results. Number three, discern your fruitful seasons. In Acts 14, verse 17, and also Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1, the Bible says, uh, Remember your Creator in the days of your youth. There is a season where you bear fruit the most. When you know it, maximize it. Come on, now we're together. Planting a church early really helped me learn a lot of things. 
And I really wish I am younger than I am. Hallelujah. I wish I am 25 years now. Personally, I wish. I just wish I am 22 or something like that. Because it will give you more advantage of time to be able to do more. Number three. Take actions when you know you're fruitful field and know it on fruitful season. So, plant. Like David in 1 Samuel 17, 48, he charged toward Goliath. And Genesis 26, verse 12, Isaac sowed in the land. When you take action, you see results. And number five, abide by scriptural principles. Bible says in John chapter 10, verse 35, the scripture made cannot be broken. No matter what is happening to you, remain by scriptural principles. I can assure you that your results are coming. And number six, obedience. He said, whatsoever he asks you to do, do. When Elijah and Elisha, Elijah instructed the woman, give me a meal first before you make for yourself and the child. She obeyed. So obey. Let me just stop here. The first key I said is what? Depth in the word of God and knowledge. Number two is what? Discerning your fruitful field. Number three. Number four. Take actions. Plant. So. Number five. Abide by scriptural principles. And then finally I said is what? Obedience. When you do these things, there is no way your life will not have results. Come on. Are we together? How many of us want results right now? Can be on our feet. And let's appreciate God for his word. Hallelujah. There's no way you have results if you are not born again in the kingdom. Or if you don't, you are, there's a need for you to rededicate yourself to God. So is there anybody here that needs to rededicate his life to God or to give his life to Christ afresh? Is there anybody? All right, there is none. Then let's appreciate God for the word and say, Father, thank you. Did God speak to us this morning? All right, let's talk to the Lord and say, please, thank you for your word. The next five minutes that will be done, please, let's just soak ourselves and get ready for the prophetic declaration that will kick you rolling for results. Talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I want the difference. Look at those reasons I gave you. Mana, mana, bayala, mana. Open your mouth and say, Lord, give me results in my life. Bagada, balana, masha. Let the call be validated. Let the anointing be validated. Shagala, bagada, regede, baladi.